Brotherhood of the Eternal Light, teaching the Western Mysteries. The Etheric Plane What is the Etheric Plane and how does it differ from the Astral Plane? The Etheric Plane is part of the Physical Plane, which is also called Material Plane. In the Tree of Life, the Etheric Plane is assigned to Malchut, which is the Sephirah of Manifestation in the mundane world. The Etheric Plane is the most subtle and fine aspect of the Physical Plane. Its substance cannot be described definitively as matter nor energy. In the Kabbalah, the substance of the etheric plane is called Chiyot, which means life force or vitality. The etheric life force is, amongst others, also known as vitality, breath of life, animalistic magnetism, etheric fluidium, organ, prana, chi, or ki. In his work, De Occulta Philosophia, the physician and polymath Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa von Nettersheim describes the ether in accordance to the ancient tradition as spiritus mundi, which means spirit of the world. The spirit of the world is the medium which connects the soul and the body of the world. According to Agrippa, the spirit of the world does not consist of the four elements, but of a fifth element that stands above them. In the symbol of the pentagram, it is assigned to the highest point of the pentagram and is also called spirit element. The soul of the world is equivalent to the astral plane, which is connected to the mental, spiritual and divine plane. Agrippa calls the world soul a certain only thing, filling all things, bestowing all things, binding and knitting together all things with one only breath and life. The spirit of the world, which is the etheric plane, however, connects the astral plane with the physical plane and is also called quintessence. On the astral plane, the intentions and thought forms of the student of the mysteries are charged with energy and they come into effect on the etheric plane with the help of the astral forces and from there they influence the material plane. The astral plane is the realm of the collective and personal subconscious and of the power of emotions, dreams and inner images. In a way, the astral plane creates the matrix of the material world. In the Tree of Life, it corresponds to the spiritual principle of the Sephirah Yesod, which means foundation. Because the etheric life force adapts the form of the astral matrix, the etheric plane will automatically follow the pattern of the astral plane, and thus it will also have its respective influence on the material plane. This is the principle of the higher plane ruling the lower one. You can learn more about the astral plane and the way it works in the videos about the four planes and about Yesod. Every living being has a physical body, as well as an etheric body. In the Kabbalah, the physical body is called Guf, body or person, and according to occult conceptions, it consists of the four elements. The etheric body is called Selem in the Kabbalah, which means shadow or image. The term derives from the fact that the etheric body is often recognized as a shade-like reflection or duplicate of the physical body. And Elohim created man, Adam, in his own image, Selim. In the image of Elohim, he created him. Thus, the human being was created in the divine Selim, the spirit of the world, because without the etheric life force, Chiyot, 
the human being would not be alive. And the breath of life, Nishmat Chaim in Hebrew, as a term is also connected with the vital energy. Chaim, life, is related with Chiyot. We remember Chiyot means life force, and Nishmat is related to Neshama, the term for the higher self, the spiritual part of the soul, which is personified as the holy guardian angel. Therefore, the etheric life force is directly connected to breath. Just as the physical body has organs, the etheric body has organs as well. In the Eastern tradition, these organs of the etheric plane are known as chakras. In the Western mystery tradition, these correspond to the sephirot of the middle pillar. In the practical exercises of the students of the Western mysteries, these spiritual centers are activated indirectly via the astral plane. This is an optimal magical practice within the Western tradition. The Kabbalists of old were already using the Sephirot as an analogy for the human body in their spiritual and magical practice. If you are interested to learn more, you are welcome to watch the upcoming videos about the etheric plane and related topics about kamiyot, energetical storages, amulets and talismans, about the aura and about the etheric and astral body, about out-of-body experiences or OBE. If you'd like to learn with us, click on the link in the video description. Deepen your knowledge and collect practical experience on our workshops on these topics. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button.